going on, world? This is the NRW with Nerds Rule the World. I'm Kuyu P, and we are back to give you another weekly of our entertainment picks. Heading to your eyeballs at the big screen or the little screen. I don't know. You'll find out in a second what our picks are this week. But before we do that, uh, I'm joined by the my pal Heather uh, to do all the things. Um, but before we do that, we catch up real quick. Um, Heather, um, what are you up to? What's going on? Secret Invasion finally wrapped up. Are you now tuning in so we can talk all things Secret Invasion? Yes, we are three episodes into Secret Invasion. So, you know, we're, we're a portion of the way there. Um, can say not super influenced to continue watching right now. So I'm sure that you, so we'll get to the, we'll get to the review. We promise. Um, but personal opinions, I was more, I was hoping for more. Um, other than that, uh, rest in peace. Paul Rubens. Um, so the last couple of days have been, or last day, um, since it just happened yesterday, as of as of this recording, um, lots of pee wee lately. Lots of pee wee. Lots of pizza and pizza and a pee wee. That sounds really. That sounds like a double on Trump but it's not. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of it. That's kind of it. Lots of lots of homework for those of you who are also in summer school. Uh, it's, it's a heavy period. So what about you, Poopy? Um, I'm good. Staying strong. I feel you. Uh, just trying to get the time in. Um, trying to catch up on wrestling for our Kayfabe Baby uh, wrestling podcasts that are on the channel. Um, doing a lot of that. A lot of screenings, as you know. Uh, a lot of things we can't wait to talk about. And uh, yeah, just trying to spend time with the fam. You know, just life is life. And uh, yeah, just trying to put it in with the people that we care about the most. And uh, it was good to see you at a couple of the ones that we were able to do, Heather and, and John. Shout out to John. Um, and I'm just looking forward to what the rest of the year is going to bring. Um, but let's talk about what we got going on this week. We'll keep it quick and short because I know there's other things we want to get done today. Um, you ready to hear my picks for this week, Heather? Sure, let's do it. All right. First up, um, we're going to head into a trench, if you will. <sighs> Uh, a sequel to a big film with a big shark. Um, but I didn't get exactly a chance to see it. Um, I don't know what's up with studios. Maybe there's something up with that, but I'm still kind of slightly intrigued. I did see the first Meg, but let's check out the trailer for Meg 2, the trench coming out this week. aquatic activity 25,000 feet deep in the trench. It's an ancient ecosystem untouched by man. Whatever is down there is trying to make its way to the surface. This is a bad idea. Just a little bit. Jonas, we've got company. That's the biggest Meg I've ever seen. Biggest Meg anyone's ever seen. That's the apex predator. Everybody make it to the station! You can make it! Keep going! Three massive Megs and who knows what else have escaped the breach. You can just hope it goes better than last time. What happened last time? You don't want to know. Go, go, go! We never seen this before. They hunted it back. You can relax. This place, magproof. I mean, Jonas was always afraid of this, but I was also thinking. All 
right? Taking a bite out of all of us, August 4th. Meg 2, The Trench. Heather, did you see the first Meg? Uh, I did not. You didn't? Okay. No, I'm not. I, I, I love sharks. I'm actually a big, big shark fan. I've loved my, my favorite fisher sharks. Um, but eh, I don't know what it was about the movie. I just wasn't that excited for it. And honestly, uh, I mean, I love, I love a good Statham film, but me. Eh. Wow. I don't understand. So I... State them you like, but and you like sharks. It seems like a combo there. It is stupid. Let's just. Oh yeah, I, I could. It's stupid. Okay. I could tell you but, that the trailer. Yeah, but why not? Oh no, it's I. I think it's one of those where it's like, the Meg is a type of series that is, it seems like one of those movies where. It's it's good bullshit. It's good, you know, popcorn movie. Like when you're when you need something in the background or something like that, and. I always have something else to watch. So Yeah. I mean I'm not I'm not harping on it. You know, if you want to go see a good gory shark watery movie that's going to make you not want to go to the beach this summer, do it. I am a hundred percent a Jaws fan. Like I I'm one of those people where Jaws just made me want to go to the beach. I don't know about you guys. Um, but it's one of those where I y'all do you enjoy the movie if you go see it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just a little. Uh, I, I, I saw the OG one. I love Jaws. I love Deep Blue Sea. Just anything shark mm-hmm. stuff. I like, like you. Uh, I love uh, sharks. Although I don't like the ocean very much. Neither do I. Actually, I'd I rather swim ocean. in a pool than an ocean. Um, but that's also because the world is being destroyed by all of us humans. So anyway, we, we won't get on a soapbox here because we don't do that. But yeah, um, I'm I'm ready for the popcorn ridiculousness one. But um. Yeah, I would have liked to have talked about that stuff on, but they didn't let us see it. So uh, maybe I'll get a ticket and, and check it out. But uh, yeah, Meg 2 dropping this week. Um, so they came up short, which will lead me to our next film dropping this week. Um, are you a fan of Randall Park, Heather? Of course. If, and uh, If you're not, you're not a good human. I don't trust you at all. <laughs> are you a fan of Andrew Tomine, uh, who wrote uh, the book or the graphic novel uh, that this is based on? Uh, it's called Shortcomings. Yes. So, yes, Shortcoming is being Shortcoming adapted. Is uh, I spoke with Randall Park. His interview, as of this recording, will be on the channel. So go check out my interview with director Randall Park. Yes, uh, fresh off the boat, uh, WandaVision. Randall is now getting behind the camera to give us uh, Shortcomings. He picked up uh, Shortcomings by Andrew back in 2007 mm-hmm. uh, at Giant Robot in L.A. And then kind of worked with uh, Andrew Tomine and other people uh, with his group Eminent Collision to bring this to the screen. And I'm so excited. Uh, it's a, uh, a, a a film that I think a lot of people can relate to, but as an Asian American, I really connected with this film. And uh, it's a role uh, and roles uh, with the entire cast that we don't really get to see a lot. And, and, uh, w- and also roles that we don't get to play. Um, so check out my interview with, with Randall and uh, yeah. Dropping this week on uh, Friday, August 4th is Shortcomings. Let's check it out. I was practically the only non-white person in my entire high school. And you never felt discriminated against? I definitely did, but not because I was Asian. Because of your inherent bad personality. Exactly. Do you remember that internship that I applied for? What about it? It's in New York. New York is overrated. It's so gentrified now. How many times have you even been there? Are we counting layovers? You always assume the worst about me, and then you end up acting crazy over nothing. I'm not acting crazy, so stop using that word. (gasps) You're just proving my point. Are you two, like, broken up? We're taking some time off. While the cat's away, the The mouse mouse will play with himself, probably. Can I kiss you? (laughs) Sorry, I'm a little out of practice. It's clear. I'm gonna go to New York. Listen, maybe you could come with me. I thought you came out here to clear your head. I did. And then I met Meredith, and I've been there ever since. So when are you gonna see her? I'm, I'm here to see Miko. She's an intern here. Actually, I'm the only intern here. You have problems with anger, depression, your weird self-hatred. You could benefit from a little self-hatred. Interesting. I know you're going to want to blame this on society or on your race or whatever, but this really is just about you. Is this your rock bottom? 
What is she doing with that guy? They're being adorable. So, we finally get to meet your mysterious boyfriend. Hello, Ben. Hi. Praise Jesus. Maybe just be honest with him. <laughs> is anyone sitting here? No. All right, Heather, shortcomings in theaters Friday, August 4th. Um, we did a react to this, and uh, yeah. I know eventually you and I will do a review. Uh, we uh, have that available, so we'll look for that very soon, y'all. But uh, mm -hmm. what do you think about it? And, and then, uh, Adrian, tell mind, you said you, you read the graphic novel as well? Yeah, it's been a while. I actually kind of forgot that it was a graphic novel until you just mentioned it. I was just like, oh, crap, it is that graphic novel. Um, though I do remember the announcement that they were finally starting to, starting to work on it several years ago. Um, so... I don't know, brain fart. Uh, but yes, the the novel is uh, the graphic novel is really good. Actually, I think it it was out of print for a hot minute. So hopefully they have it back in print print by now. Um, we are. I I love. I look. I was really excited to see this movie. It actually, I saw the trailer um, again. Like it reminded me. I saw it during when I saw Barbie, and I was just like, okay, this would be a great pair with Barbie. Um, and it's a great pair with. It looks like it's just going to be a fun, goofy friend movie, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited for the screener. Thank you, product. Thank you, companies that like us to watch their movies. <laughs> so let me tell you, Heather. You know, I recently saw Barbie. We have a review on the channel. Everybody, go check that out. Um, but Barbie, uh, Barbie reminded me as men how evil we are, and I'll tell you, we we are terrible. And then I watched Shortcomings, and I'm like. It's it's a comedy. There's a comedy there, but it's also a drama, you know, and just life and relationships and shortcomings. We all have shortcomings. The character's yeah. name is Ben. I know Ben because I was a Ben in a lot of ways. And you'll see yeah. when you watch this film and I know other Bens and just relationships and how we interact with people and what we want. And so it got me very introspective, just like Barbie did. And so if you're seeing Barbie and that introspection, you're going to go on to a whole nother level, especially. Well, I hope us. Uh, if you're male identifying, you know, and where we are and what we need to do better. Um, this just added to that. And uh, it's a great film. Uh, Randall Park, you know, makes such great choices with his work. And uh, I, I think with just doing roles that are just out of the ordinary. And then as an Asian American and as an Asian American actor, he gives us and is put into those roles that we don't get to see a lot. And now with him, uh, with his company, Eminent Collision, uh, pr helping make this film with Sony, um, I, I can't wait to see what more he's going to do with bringing uh, to life these roles for Asian Americans to see themselves. And then the universal nature of it all, uh, of just people, uh, is is something that I think everyone can relate to. Just despite me seeing identifying as an Asian American and finding myself in that and seeing that. Um, great film. Uh, we'll have a review with, with Heather when she finally checks it out. But uh, yeah, don't come up short. Go check that out if you want an alternative to everything else you're watching. Uh, it's a great film, and I'll be talking all about it on the radio as well. So, Heather, ready to see my top pick this week, which you and I both saw. I say I already know what it is, but sure, go ahead, do it. <laughs> all right, let's jump into some oohs, oohs, oohs. We have a very important mission for tonight. We must use stealth and cunning to infiltrate the human world and retrieve Goku. Ooh, okay, Batman. Dude, what? I'm just trying to hype you guys up. Let's go! From Seth Rogen comes a movie that crushes for absolutely every age. Amazing. Insane. All right, tell me more. It's effortlessly cool and visually stunning. It's the most fun you'll have at the movies this year. Seems very dangerous. You eat danger for breakfast. Actually, I eat pizza with bits of waffles on it. With the funniest cast ever assembled. Surprise! Yes, bro. Oh, I get it. Enough. Oh man, you can't stop us. Lock and look. We're the only ones who can do this. I'm awesome. We're brothers. We fight together. We're just getting started. Yeah, she sounded like a leader. I do? Oh, I do! 
Oh, I sound like such a leader. And you ruined it. Ninja Turtles. Remember, don't let any human see you. Movie theaters, August second. Get your tickets now. All right, Heather, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got that turtle power. We checked it out early. Everybody, check out our review that's going to be up on the channel probably as of this recording. Um, once it's out. So, uh, Heather, uh, any thoughts on uh, turtles <laughs> that they'll they'll also hear in our review? Sure. Uh, check out our review. It says more than it needs to. There is a timestamp for no review, no spoilers. So just be careful with that. Um, it was a lot of fun. I will say, I love the movie. It was a lot of fun, but I disagree with the statement that it was the most fun this year. That's going to go to Blackening. I'm sorry. It's going to go to Blackening. That was the most fun movie this year so far. I can't wait to do our our top 10 lists of the, for this year, man. Was, like I'm There's some, say, there's some pretty good movies my, in the running this year right now. Blackening might be my number one. I'm not going to deny it. Um, but, but The most fun? For... I know, just for like the best movie. I, I had a blast with that movie, but. Yeah. That's, wow. I definitely would say it's in my five. I don't know about best, but okay. I'm with I, you. I can't wait. I, I'm looking forward to when we do that at the end of the year. Absolutely. But I will say it was, it was an app. The movie is an absolute blast. Um, You will have fun. It is, it is actually far more family friendly. Like Barbie, I would say, we were talking about this, uh, not in the review though. Barbie's one of those movies that was kind of like, meh, when it comes to, is it truly family friendly or does it too much of it go over your head, especially for a kid's uh, concept? This movie is great for literally all ages. If you were, if you're a kid of the eighties and nineties, you are going to have a lot of Easter eggs that are just made for you. If you are a comic book fan, you're gonna have a lot of Easter eggs just made for you. If you are a child who has never watched a single Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle before, you will love the crap out of this movie. Yep. Definitely agree. A whole lot of fun. Check out our full review. I won't reiterate it, but yes, I enjoyed it. And unlike, or well, I will say, unlike Heather, the music works all the way throughout. Yeah, I had a blast because yeah, I had yeah. every one of those albums. It was insane. Shout out to Seth Rogen. Um, so those are my picks, Heather. We are at the end of this week. Uh, Meg to the Trench, Shortcomings, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, Up, Down, Sideways. Okay, I'll give it, even though I'm not like a Meg fan, eh. It's worth it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. This is a very fun Thorson selection. Thorson Jathan Statham. Y'all, it's, it's we're, we're going to get her to movies. watch the it's first a, It's a fun selection of movies that you will enjoy yourself at the theater this weekend. Absolutely. There you go. All right, Heather, if they want to prod you to check out Meg and Meg Sue, how can sure. they reach out to you? Sure. If you want to tell me that I'm an awful Jason Statham fan, please reach out to me at Nerd is a Heather on Twitter. Yes, it is Twitter. And at Heather is a nerd on TikTok, Instagram, and Blue Sky. What she said. Um, follow my pal Heather and for me on Twitter, Twitter, we're not going to the that letter or whatever, but F Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> hit me up on Instagram as well. Uh, Blue Sky at the Legend Kuya P and uh, here with Heather and the whole squad at the NRW and Annalise Wednesday where nerds rule the world. Let us know if you're checking out uh, all of that in, in the, the description below if there's something I'm missing. I uh, always like to know what I should also check out. Uh, Heather, I know we enjoy that. Give us the feedback. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more. Check out my interview with Randall Park on the channel. Check out my review with Heather on Turtles. We'll also have a review on Shortcomings uh, and all the things. There you go, y'all. We're out. Your boy, QDP, Heather. Deuces.